focus. Focus is super underrated. Like, if you commit all that you are and all of your energy to one thing. You know, Casey Neistat did that video and it, it really, it basically it really applies to everything I do when I'm out here. I try to focus on one trick, one thing. Now I continue to do the things that I already know how to do. But when I'm trying to push learning something, I try to push learning one thing. And that's what makes the biggest difference out here, man. Yo, this is, I took this from a book called, I don't know what it's called, but it goes like this. All right, you can do 10 things to like the first degree, like this right here. And that's how well you'll do all 10 things. Or you can do one thing to the 10th degree right there. And look how much better you do that. So when it comes to focus, to put all of your energy into one thing is to do that one thing really well, to the best of your abilities, to take it all the way. And to scatter yourself means you're never actually accomplishing anything. You're just sort of chipping away at a bunch of nothingness. And this is true for work, this is true for like, dating versus committing yourself to one person, friendship, everything. Skateboarding. Really focusing and investing yourself into something you're passionate about will always yield better results than scattering yourself around and spreading yourself. One trick. So when you're at the park, focus on one. Sure, do the things you know how to do. You get better at them. You know, especially if it completes a line or completes a run. But, you know, if you put 100% of your focus into one trick, you'll get one trick. You'll make noticeable gains. But if you're taking your 100% of focus and you're dividing it in 10 ways for all the tricks you're trying to do, you know, your day is empty. At the end of the day, you got nothing. I did that with my backside grinds, man. I got out here. I focused that one thing, did it, I did it, and I drive you guys nuts, I'm sure. When is this old guy gonna do something else? Because you guys were sick of seeing it. But you know, it's like I had this vision in my mind to be able to confidently hit this thing for 10 plus feet. And I'm doing that now. And I'm doing the same thing with front side. And once that's in, then I'm gonna be doing other things. You know, I ride the Red Bull. Because you know what, you guys have some points. When it comes down to riding some different terrains, certainly can help you overall with balance and things like that. But nothing helps you like riding the same bull over and over and over again. There's just no bigger benefit than that. I know this gray bull out here. I know every nook and cranny on this thing. So, you know, my chances at almost 48 next month of falling in here are way less likely now. So, you know, I've just increased my longevity of doing these tricks. But seriously, if I gave a bunch of empty effort to trying to learn 10 tricks at one time, all I'm gonna do is fall 10 different ways on 10 different tricks. Try, try again. Just gotta try again. Okay, look, my shin hit the coping, but I'm one bad mofo, and I'm not done. My leg's shaking, and it hurts, but when it hurts, I just go, and I get more mad. And you know what? Let me fix this. It makes me want it even more. That's it. Stop. Don't mess with me.
So, to get back on like that, I call that a victory. It's a victory lap. Look at this. All the black metal. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. You gotta have focus. I'm grinding really smooth in there. If I hang on to it just a second too long and I get going too slow, it gets a little weird. So, this is a scary trick and there's so much involved in trying to clear it out of your mind. I come off this hip a little harsh sometimes. I come up there a little like, a little jagged and aggro. And what I need to do is take a deep breath, visualize success, ease into it, and you're gonna see that happen right now. Gotta stay focused. See that time? I pulled it off. I don't think the section I had on the hip was even that smooth. But see, I was sort of more focused on the coping. I went into it sketchy, kind of leaned back. At least that's how I felt. I think it's gonna show on the video. But what I did was, I didn't let that get to me. I focused on my promise to you guys that I was gonna get it this time. And I hung in there, I overcame the fear, bam, slayed it, and got it done. anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video today I hope you enjoyed the skate session please like comment and subscribe I love your comments and uh, I notice there's not a lot of videos from you other skater guys I follow on YouTube so get out there and skate upload something all right peace out